or resolution of state to be proposed by Worshipful Brother Samuel Calvin, Deputy County Grand Master, and to be seconded by Brother Jonathan Holmes, District Secretary at Limavady, Number 6 District. County Grand Master, Worshipful District Master, Distinguished Brethren, Sisters, and all. The third resolution reads as follow. This year the people of Scotland will be asked to decide their future within the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The links which have existed for centuries bind us particularly strong and we reflect that a century ago Scottish Brethren stood with us in support of our remaining within the Union. We encourage our colleagues in the Grand Orange Lodge of Scotland in their opposition to independence and assure them of our support. The United Kingdom must stay united. As an institution we cherish the Union, which offers civil liberties for all and special privileges for none. We therefore condemn the special privileges afforded in secret by our own government to almost 300 people in a shady side deal of the Belfast Agreement. This year marks the centenary of the outbreak of the First World War, and we remember all those who served and those who made the supreme sacrifice in that war. We remember particularly those in the 36th Ulster Division, the 10th, 11th and 16th Irish Divisions, and reflect on the many tens of thousands of members of the Orange Institution worldwide who enlisted at that time. We welcome the increased recognition by the government of the Irish Republic of the sacrifice of those who served and were forgotten for so long. Seventy years ago the Normandy landings brought hope to Europe and the world at the darkest of times and we remember with gratitude the victory in the Second World War. When evil forces are defeated and the flame of liberty continue to burn. This is the third resolution and it gives me pleasure to propose it. Thank you. Real Grand Master, Deputy Grand Master, County Grand Master, District Officers, it gives me great pleasure to second the third resolution on state which has been so ably proposed by our Deputy County Grand Master, Robert Calvin. Distinguished brethren and brethren all, our emergency resolution reads as follows. We, the Orange Men assembled at Limavady, deplore and denounce the determination of the Parades Commission, which affects parades in every county in Northern Ireland. For 16 years we have seen brethren at Dum Drum Cree denied their traditional route, lack of six minutes of tolerance for our Ligonil brethren on the Crumlin Road, refusal to allow even a short parade to open an arch, and many other instances across the province which deprive our members of the legitimate expression of their faith and culture. In view of the damage being caused to the community relations, we call upon the Secretary of State to urgently replace the legislation which established the Parades Commission in order to arrive at a fairer and more equitable system. We welcome the statement released by the combined Unionist leaders and the unity of purpose shown by their representatives on this issue. Let us all maintain our resolve to purpose this matter together to a successful conclusion. We call upon our own membership in city, town and country and those of our other loyal orders to give full heart support to the campaign to see the principles of democracy restored. This campaign will be mounted over the coming weeks. We appeal to all our brethren and sympathizers to keep their protests peaceful 
and legal. Violence will not advance our cause, but rather sully it. This campaign will involve the whole Unionist family. Therefore, we urge all fair-minded men and women to join with us in this just cause and commit the matter to prayer. I so propose this emergency resolution. Brethren and sisters gathered here this afternoon, it gives me great pleasure to second this resolution proposed by our county grandmaster. Thank you. <laughs>